Hello guys. So today in our video we are going to be ranking every Five Nights at Freddy slash FNAF animatronic. So we can, because yeah, I'm a big FNAF fan if you didn't know. And you know I don't really do anything about FNAF because I never have on my channel. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the series. So maybe I'll do stuff someday. So first off we have Mangle. Oh, and these are all, all in my own opinions, so don't get mad at me. Um, I'm not rating them on um on the game, the games like um their mechanics. I'm just ranking on how how much I like them, and maybe some of them on their game mechanics. So Mangle, Mangle is just always confusing to me. It's always like, who is Mangle? Because Mangle is obviously Funtime Foxy from FNAF 2, and I'm pretty sure Mangle is the uh, Funtime Foxy before Funtime Foxy came out, and mm, she's really broken, and what's the gender? What is it, Mangle? What is it? Mm, I like Funtime Foxy, so I'm going to say a Balloon Boy is Balloon Boy, you know? <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> yeah, I do not like you. And JJ, you're basically just Balloon Boy, but ripoff version, so yeah. Okay, we have uh, Withered Freddy with two on it for FNAF 2. Uh, I don't really have anything for Withered Freddy. He's not the best character in the game. But he's just uh, another form of Freddy that doesn't change much. Withered Bonnie, I always, I always thought was very cool. Because of his red eyes. Of his torn up animatronic face. And I always thought that was really cool. So I'm going to give him an A. Withered Chica looks just so scary and hilarious at the same time. And her voice acting in uh, Ultimate Custom Night was just like... <laughs> like... She was talking to a fan, bro. Which I enjoyed that, and yeah. So, Withered Foxy is basically just Foxy, but changed up a bit. I don't have any thoughts on him. I never really liked the regular Foxy, which a lot of people will be mad at me, but B. Golden Freddy is like... Golden Freddy is like the most lore character. Most... Probably, we don't even know the full name, how many children are stuffed inside him. And Golden Freddy, I'm pretty sure, is not a spirit. He is Fred Bear's, he's basically Withered Fred Bear. And I will give him S, because he's just mysterious. Okay, the puppet slash marionette is also very mysterious, and a big part of the story. So basically, spoiler alert, um... So, William Afton, a.k.a. Springtrap slash Purple Guy, he basically killed a bunch of children, and Marionette was his first victim, and and the girl possesses the puppet, which gave life to the other animatronics. So, big part of the lure of FNAF, so A. Okay, Springtrap is Springtrap. We all know him. William Afton, the killer, the man behind the slaughter. Yeah. So, um, they've never actually shown, um, uh, Spring Bonnie slash regular Springtrap. So he might be coming soon, but in FNAF World, that looks like more Bonnie than Springtrap. And Springtrap is actually my favorite character. So, S. FNAF 3 kind of sucks, though. Okay, Freddy, the OG, the man of the series. I don't really have thoughts on him. I mean, he's Freddy Fazbear. So, A. Phantom, oh, I mean, the watermelon animatronics. They're all decent, but they don't kill you, which is kind of weird. So, all right. And Balloon Boy, I do not like, so... <laughs> Also, in FNAF 3, you play the Balloon Boy noises to avoid Springtrap. Okay, Watermelon Chica is 
a watermelon, so yeah. I, I, I liked most chicas, which you would probably hate me for. Um, Phantom Marionette just is kind of weird, so. Mm, Phantom Mangle. I think all the Phantoms I don't really care about. But Phantom Foxy is just cooler because his jump scare jumps at you, and there's basically no way to avoid him, I'm pretty sure, in FNAF 3. And. Um, Nightmare Freddy and his Freddles, they're pretty cool. Um, as a child, I used to, um, look at his Freddles, and I was like, man, scary Larry. So I, I'm gonna give him an A. Um, Bonnie used to be my favorite character, and his Nightmare form, I don't really have thoughts on. So I'll just give him a B. Nightmare Chica, also don't have thoughts on, but... <clears throat> Birds don't have teeth. It's just a beak. Don't mind all the other chicas. Uh, I'm sorry, Nightmare Chica. You're not very good. Okay, next up is uh, Nightmare Foxy. I mean, he's okay. He's a uh, foxy. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. I guess I'll give him a B. I don't really like foxies, which everyone will hate me for. Withered Foxy, I realize, is, is th this picture is the Foxy e EXE from FNAF World. I didn't realize it was Withered Foxy. Oh, my. Okay, here's Bonnie, my old favorite character. So, because of that, he is an S tier. I just like him a lot. Um, Nightmare Fredbear is, um, he's decent, he's just like Nightmare Freddy, Yellow Edition. And you know, Fredbear's Family Diner, the OG place of FNAF. Well, somewhat. It's like Fredbear's Family Diner, yo, he's okay. Nightmare, um, he's okay, but also really annoying in Night 7. So, I don't really have many thoughts on him. He's just, just like, f f um, Fredbear Nightmare, and Nightmare Fredbear in UNC, I mean UCN. Uh, Flesh Trap, um, don't really have thoughts on him, but he's a form of Ring Trap, but small. Don't really get him. Does he have any point in the storyline, or is he just in a place? I don't really have thoughts on him. I like Springtrap way more. Uh, Jacko Bonnie. Um, the Jackos, I just don't don't really have any thoughts on them. So I'll put them in B. Nightmare Mangle is scarier than Mangle. So, I'll give it an A. Um, Nightmare Ion, I thought was really, really, really cool. Mm, and also the beefing sound after the jump scare is pretty weird. Just like Nightmare, but I don't really have thoughts on you. Okay. Nightmare BB. So, he's better than Balloon Boy. Mm, I think I'll put him in B and Balloon Boy regular. He gets a ranking low. And because DD, I mean not DD, JJ, you don't have really any points. You're just Balloon Boy Jr., so I'm actually going to put you in D. Old Man Consequences, um, I just don't care about him. You just have to press C, I'm pretty sure, to catch a fish, and that's all he does. And also, he is the secret somewhat ending. You have to get through all the glitch worlds in FNAF World, and then you get to him, talk to him, and then you can drown. Cool. So Endo O one, he's okay. I mean, he's Endo. He he's just Endo. Chica is Chica, and Chica is Chica. Chico is always my least favorite. So I'm gonna give her a B because I don't really have thoughts. Um, Candy Cadet Man. We all love him. Candy, Candy, Candy. Candy. I want a piece of candy. 
okay, Circus Baby is one of the best characters, William Afton's daughter. So, it's really loved by the fan base, too. So, Ballora, I've never really liked. I just don't like the design, and it's just weird. So, I'm going to give you a C, Ballora. Okay, I'm pretty sure my second favorite FNAF character is actually Funtime Foxy. I just really like the Ultimate Custom Nice, oh, nice Ultimate Custom Night voice, and I just think Funtime Foxy was really cool. And um, if you're if if Funtime Foxy is male and Mangle is the previous design of Funtime Foxy before like, um, the Circus Baby's Pizza World, then what what gender is he if he's so he's male? Then what's Mangle? In FNAF World, it says she's male and female. I just said it's she, so it's a she, totally. Um, Funtime Freddy, don't really have thoughts on. He's pretty cool because he's pink and purple and white. That's a very good color combination, which I really enjoy. Okay, Bonnet, I'm pretty sure, or is that the pink one? I've really cared nothing for you. You're decent. Okay, some of you really like Ennard, but I don't really have any thoughts on him. He just looks like a clown dude made of all the others. Baby Bab, uh, uh, I just think is weird. Same with Minerina. They're just weird. Wolvet is a basic reskin of Funtime Foxy, which I think is really, really cool. It's sad that Lulvit never got a real animatronic, but in FNAF World, she kind of did, but amazing. Foxy is Foxy, and Foxy is everyone's favorite. So, I don't really like Foxy, but I like Foxy, you get me? I like Mangle more, but Foxy's decent for me. And Electro Bab is weirder than Bitty Bab, so yeah. Yendo, Yendo is Endo, but Yendo. Um, yeah, you'll go with Endo because you're just basically the fun time Endos. The other bunny, I can't remember your name. It's one of the bunnies, but I don't like you because. I like this one because it looks like Toy Bonnie, one of my favorite characters, but the pink one, I do not like. It looks weird, according to me. Trash in the Gang? Um, he's really cool because you know it's Trash in the Gang. I wouldn't put him up to S because he's memeing, but yeah, I'll just put him there for now. Helpy, I just thought was really adorable when I first saw him, even though it's basically his fun time Freddy. He's pretty annoying, but yeah, he's cute. Happy Frog. Happy Frog is one of people's least favorite animatronics, and I don't really have thoughts on Happy Frog. Oh my. Whoopsie dipsie. Mr. Hippo is amazing. Stop. I don't want to type in D tier. Um, he is automatically going to S. He just has a five minute dialogue, and he's been my favorite uh, ultimate. No, not ultimate. Test of night. FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator. He is my favorite animatronic to put on stage. Because, look at him. He's beautiful. Like, you know, talking with Orville Elephant about killing pigeons with uh, sour bread or whatever. Pork Patch, or is who pig is? That's Pig Patch. Pork Patch is the one in FNAF World. And I don't have thoughts on you. I, I dislike you a little more than Happy Frog, though. Ned Bear is... Uh, all the, all the, whatever Melody Boys, um, they're, they're, I don't have thoughts on them, they're just the, I guess, trash version, um, that, uh, Henry made to lure in, um, the Scrap animatronics like Scrap Trap, Scrap Baby, yeah, so I think these guys are just, uh, they don't have much backstory, and they don't have any. So, Orville Elephant, I think, is a bit cuter than the rest of them, so yeah. And also, Mr. Hippo is Mr. Hippo, so he gets to be up there. 
Um, Golden Freddy, big boy one. He's basically just Golden Freddy, but shiny. So, I mean, Golden Freddy, that's basically Withered Golden Freddy, and this one is regular Golden Freddy. There, He's okay, but he's basically just Golden Freddy, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Rockstar Freddy, insert five coins. What What's he say? Give five coins or whatever? Yeah, I like him for saying that. And he's pretty cool because he steals your money. Uh, Rockstar Bonnie, I just don't like his jaw, man. Like, he, he looks like he's smiling at you very awkwardly. Like, regular Bonnie, he just doesn't look like, um, Rockstar Bonnie, which I dislike. Um, uh, I do not like, um, Rockstar Chica because of the... The purple cheeks, and the big mouth, and the lipstick, and the teeth. It just doesn't really look good with me. Okay, I have to admit something. Rockstar, um, Rockstar Foxy is my favorite, um, version of regular Foxy. Obviously, Fun Time is my favorite and second favorite animatronic of all time. But, yeah, he's... I like him, because you have to basically kill his parrot, give it back to him, and then, your matey, you'll get your power back, or whatever. So, Music Man, I never cared about him, he's Music Man. He doesn't have any backstory, he's just one of those one guys that were adding in F6 to add more. Um, L, L Chip is cool, because you, you basically, you basically promote his, his restaurant, in in um in Freddy Fazbear's, which is kind of weird, because you're promoting your enemy. It's just weird. Also, how do you get on our security cameras or whatever? El Chip, you're kind of weird. Mm. Um, fun time, fun time, a chica. I just thought was really adorable. That uh, sad that she never appeared in Sister Location and in uh. In FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator, she just appeared as an animatronic that you can put on your own stage. And then, and, um, in, um, uh, Ultimate Custom Night, um, she has basically no effect, just, say cheese! Yep, that. Molten Freddy is kind of weird, I'm pretty sure. I don't really get Molten Freddy's backstory, but I get his backstory. I've heard it once, but I don't remember it. But Molten Freddy, I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, is one of the co coolest Freddies because he's just like Scrap. Um, Scrap Trap looks kind of awkward to me, but he's still a version of Spring Trap. I think like, why did his forehead get so big and how? I always, I always keep thinking, what's the pink stuff? Um, what is it wiring or is it skin flesh? Because I know, I know Springtrap's, um, William Afton's body is in there. And what happened to your teeth? And Scrap Baby, Scrap Baby, I think, looks a little weirder than Baby. So, yeah, you can stay there, I guess. I like Baby, but not very much Scrap Baby. Okay, Lefty is my favorite, not my favorite Freddy, but my favorite... He's like probably my second favorite Freddy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go S. He's just really popular. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is a um, marionette inside of Lefty. Phone guard. Oh, oh. Welcome to your new job at Freddy Fredbear's Pizza. He's just so OG and I like him. Also, his voice by Scott. You're going into D tier because nobody likes you. That's not how the song goes. Um, RxQ, but yeah, his very long name. I just thought he was very mysterious and I liked him a lot. In FNAF World, I was like, who's that guy? Oh, RxQ, never heard of him. He looks really cool. But Shadow, Shadow Freddy did nothing, and I'm disappointed with him. So I'm going to actually put him in D. So Shadow Fredbear, it looks like. Hmm. 
I mean, he does nothing, does he? He disappears secretly, right? And with Shadow, Shadow, um, uh, Spring Bonnie, I mean, he's a, I like him better than the Freddies, because he's a Bonnie animatronic. William, no, I'm kidding, Scott Cawthon. So, Scott Cawthon is obviously the creator of the games, so I will give him a big S tier. Thank you very much. Uh, Chipper, like, basically Scott Cawthon's first game before that weird campfire guy, and Coffee. You know, the OG Scott Cawthon games were just really weird. This guy isn't even involved with FNAF, is he, besides that you can use him in FNAF world? He does absolute nothing. L Chip is cooler because he's L Chip. Um, Fun Time. F no, yeah, it is Fun Time Freddy. Wait, dang, not Fun Time Freddy. That's you. This is Toy Freddy. Duh. So he can really screw up your night if he gets scared by Trash Man, Mister Hugs. So yeah. Um, uh, a Toy Bonnie. I just thought was really adorable and creepy at the same time and he's probably my second third favorite animatronic ever is he has a good history with me and toy chica is toy chica pretty good but um hmm she's decent probably my favorite chica that's not fun time and here is my list i will quickly rank them in how much i like them at least the S tier. And probably I should do it with this tier, but I don't care. I'm just going to do it with S tier. And wink. This should go here. And then I like Candy Cadet there. And then I would like uh, Mr. Hippo after him. Actually, Mr. Hippo is going up promotion. Mm, 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 mm. You're probably going there. And I like ArxQ more than actually all of you. I also like Phone Guy more than all of you. Well, you're basically with a little bit there. Left Guy is cool. Good placement there. Uh, you're better than Candy Cadet. I'm sorry. Scott, you can just stay there because you basically did nothing. You basically did nothing, but you created the game. You basically did nothing. Yep, but you have no no involvement besides being Anim dude in the FNAF world. But yeah, you're Scott Cawthon, the creator of the game, so good job. Okay, so that's our list. So our S tier final is my um let's go to the least S tier to the best S tier. Okay, number blah 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 blah. Is there 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Okay, number 15, Scott Cawthon. Number 15, Scott Cawthon. Game developer of the Five Nights at Freddy series. Pretty cool, I do say myself. Okay, number 14, we have Lefty. Marionette's weird boyfriend guy. That, yeah, rock star Freddy, but cooler. Number 13, Rockstar Foxy. In my opinion, the best Foxy that isn't fun time. Because he looks cool. I don't know. He's, he literally gives you stuff. Unless he kills you. Number, um, uh, wait, is this, yep, yeah, 13, I mean 12. Number 12, Helpy. He had basically no effect. You just have to click on him and go, <gasps> But he's adorable. So, yeah. Cool. Number um, number 11. Funtime Chica. You had, like, no appearance, but you're really adorable, and I like you. Number... Wait. Yeah, number 10. Lulbit. Lulbit, you, you, you just have to type in LOL, which kind of sucks, because I wish you got a full animatronic. But we can basically see you in FNAF World and your reskin of Funtime Foxy in FNAF World. <laughs> Number nine, Phone Guy. He probably shouldn't be here because he's just Phone Guy. Oh my gosh, is that Scott Cawthon talking to the phone? Hello, hello. Uh, here's your new job application for Freddy Fazbear Pizza. So yeah, 
Hopefully you have some good times here, and the FNAF animatronics actually move around, so watch out for that, you idiot. Number 8. Basically, Wither Golden Freddy. He's Golden Freddy. Freddy. Well, well, he's like the most important part of the FNAF lore, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Candy, Cadet, Candy, 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 Candy. That's what I have to say. Um, next up is Arc's Q. Very mysterious. And also, basically the same thing as Toy Bonnie, but dark. Okay, Bonnie. I mean, what are we at? Number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 5. Number 5, Bonnie, the real one. So, he is, um, my first favorite animatronic since FNAF. The real one, the first one, um, he's really, I don't know, he's just Bonnie, he's OG. Number four, Mr. Hippo. So, yep, he talks with Orville Elephant at the park, you know, he, he, he kills birds with sour bread. You have to listen to his conversation for five minutes when he kills you, so yeah, pretty cool. Number three, fun time, no, stop saying fun time, it's toy. Toy Bonnie. He's just really cute and creepy at the same time, bro. And now we have number two. Fun Time Foxy. Really adorable, and I really enjoy your your kind of speaker voice in Ultimate Custom Night. You're, you're amazing, even though you're somehow released in FNAF World when you're not... Wait, in FNAF World is... Is, is Funtime Foxy just Mangle's full form? <gasps> well, because in FNAF World, Funtime Foxy is not the Funtime Foxy we know. And number one, Springtrap, William Afton. You can see his little mouth there. You know he's dead. Can I zoom in, please? Look at him. He has a skull inside of his body. Chew. Chew, I mean chill, bro. Stop murdering children, but you're actually really cool, and I like you a lot, because the Bonnie animatronics are obviously my favorites. So, yeah, that was my list. Hopefully you enjoyed. And the the disgusting idiots were um, JJ, Biddy Bab, Mini Rena, Electro Bab, How unfortunate, stupid idiot! DD is a very bad, so you are in the D tier. Which is technically F, so I will just do a little thing there. Um, F minus. There we go. And then we have Shadow Freddy. He does nothing. And um, Chipper, you are nothing. You're just in Scott's weird game. So, yeah. So that was our list. Hopefully you enjoyed. I should probably end this video before my dumb Chromebook runs out of space. So, uh, that's our list. Bye.